Hi, I'm Katie Johnson and I'm here in the Fort Smith Regional Art Museum in my hometown of Fort Smith, Arkansas. The piece I have chosen to highlight as art you can see in a day is this one, 200 Years, A Hard Road to Hope. The artist who created this painting was Jenny Crouch Stanford, who has most recently become known for her portrait of Hillary Clinton. She got her start with showings here in this very museum and now has three portraits hanging in the National Portrait Gallery. I emailed Miss Stanford to get some of the history behind this painting. She created this work in 1975 and told me that she based this painting on a black and white picture from the Great Depression. Her use of photography to paint is very fitting with our recent discussions of Impressionism and their use of photography as reference. She created this piece specifically for a competition and exhibition here at this museum formerly known as the Fort Smith Art Center. She was drawn to the photo and wanted to paint it because it reminded her of her ties to rural life. She grew up in southwest Missouri on a farm with her parents and grandmother, who was actually the inspiration for this painting. Stanford remembers seeing her grandmother hard at work in the gardens in a sunbonnet and carrying a hoe, much like the subject of this work. The goal that she had in mind when creating this piece was to honor the lives of rural Americans and acknowledge their contribution to our country. Jenny Stanford did not, however, create the title for this painting. Her husband, Frank Stanford, actually entitled the work 200 Years, A Hard Road to Hoe. Crouch used a style similar to watercolor to create this work. She used acrylic paint diluted with water on a cotton canvas that she prepared herself rather than using a conventionally prepared canvas. She used only two brushes and made this painting in her studio near Rocky Branch on Beaver Lake in Rogers, just a short drive from the University of Arkansas. The painting shows symbolism of the hard things women have been through, and it also shows the hardships that those who were pioneers before us endured by tilling the land and sustaining themselves. The portrait is oil on canvas, as you can tell by the seemingly flowing lines and bold hues on the dress and apron. The woman is in contrapposto position and is leaning on the hoe in a very realistic way. The picture is more naturalistic than stylized. Crouch used both atmospheric and linear perspective in that it shows the distance and space between the woman and her surroundings, yet it uses atmospheric perspective in the blurred trees in the distance. The lines that Crouch uses in the woman's face add detail showing her worn body and age. The way that her dress flows is almost Hellenistic stylization. The flowing dress shows that there is wind present in the photo. I would consider this piece a cross between 19th century realism, romanticism, and impressionism. It could fall under realism because it shows the hard work of daily life. Much like this painting, The Gleaners by Millay that we studied earlier this semester, Romanticism because of the appearance of the wind in her skirt and apron. Romanticists like the billowing appearance of wind, as you can see in the flag in this Delacroix painting, Liberty Leading the People. I chose this piece from the collection at the Fort Smith Regional Art Museum because it is from my hometown, so I feel a connection to it. I like the appearance of wind in a woman's dress and the contrast between the blue and the dusty landscape. I think that the detail in the woman's face really symbolizes the struggle that women on the frontier and women in general have had to overcome. I love that I could find a piece like this in my hometown just 15 minutes from my house. I also love that it was one of Stanford's first paintings and now she is becoming well known for her Hillary Clinton portrait. It's cool to see where she began and where she is now. This has been my Art in a Day presentation. Thank you and if you're ever in Fort Smith, come check out this painting. Special thanks to the Fort Smith Regional Art Museum and Jenny Crouch Stanford.